Hello all and welcome to the next video here in the Onion Man's rooftop to it, a cow caravan of treasure. It's sometimes barter. The street continues as it always will. And yay, we're here with something I have not done before, a Figma figure. Uh, I guess, you know, specifically a Max Factory Figma. Um, we have the Bloodborne Hunter, um, and more specifically, the Old Hunter's Edition Hunter, which is what they're calling their DX Deluxe version. Uh, and it's because he basically comes with the weapon pack of other stuff and a couple of weapons from the DLC. So, yeah. He looks really good. I don't... Uh, so this is the first Figma I've ever bought. Um, and I got this a while back when it first came out. I had uh, pre-ordered it. And I think this came in through Bid Bad Toy Store. Because after that I got Lady Maria and I got her from Sideshow. And I'm going to unbox her too at some point. Um, cause she looks great in box, but, uh, yeah, this was the first one I ever got and I wish they would make more. I know there's Lady Maria and I'm sure maybe there's probably been some other that have been others that have been confirmed that I haven't heard of. Eileen the Crow would be badass. That'd be the one I'd want the most, to be honest. She's like my favorite character in that game. Um, but fun stuff. There's the side of the box. The pizza cutter, worldly gig saw, I know. I call it the pizza cutter. Um, it's got the cool box art on the front there. Although it's actually kind of extended up because like on the PlayStation, it like cuts off. Like it's kind of out of zoom, like zoomed out a little bit. And he's like, Bloop. um, pretty cool. Hunter, the old hunter's edition. <laughs> that just sounds like off the way they worded it. Then he got the back. Good stuff. Pretty sure, yeah, this was a big bad toy store, if I'm remembering correctly. I might be wrong. So this is number 367. Okay. A lot of people collect these boxes, huh? They like to display them and have, the, like, the Figma boxes. I think that'd be cool. I just don't know if I'd have the room for that. Like, display these, but then also, like, maybe have the boxes behind them on a shelf or something. Speaking of which, I changed my shelf. Check it out. Uh, I moved a lot of the plushies, got rid of a bunch of them, uh, cause a lot of them were like things I found like at Walmart and I just thought it was cool. Uh, I took them to a shelf at work. I just threw them on a work shelf and kind of just people get a laugh when they come in. Um, but I put my Sega Genesis games over there. Uh, I don't know what it is. I love the Sega Genesis. These are the ones that I've gotten, uh, like that I've, I've shown on video already. I need to go to my storage unit and... And get my, like, tub of games. Um, I have an indoor storage unit, so it's weather controlled. I'm, I'm pretty happy for it. But, um, yeah. I, I need to go get those and bring those. Because I have a bigger Sega Genesis collection. These are just, when I moved and I put stuff in the storage move, uh, unit, this is kind of what I've had since. Um, anyway, sorry for that weird track there. I just know maybe somebody might ask. He looks great. I'm excited. Like I said, I have the Lady Maria one. I'm actually debating on getting some more Figmas. I placed a pre-order for one. Um, thankfully, if I don't want it, I can cancel it and I'm not going to lose that money. Uh, I don't get charged till it gets released, I don't think. Uh, so, but yeah, I'll talk about that here as I unbox this and everything. I'll, I'll talk about that kind of more at the end. We'll get to this guy. All right. Because it's got a cool slipcase, obviously. And boom. Look at this. I might keep the box for now. And like if I end up with room for him. Um, nice. It looks pretty good in there. Whirly Gig Saw looks good. The pizza cutter. Axe looks good. Ludwig's Holy Blade. Yeah, some good stuff. This side, there's the uh, Holy Blade. I've played Bloodborne so much. Um, and that one's got the Whirly Gig. More action shots. Here's the QR code. I believe if you scan those, it'll take you to like a little information thing about the uh, 
figure. So if you want to like do that, go for it. Um, that's cool. I like this bottom. That's a good pose for him. Same thing on top. All right, let's get it open. Our first Figma, huh? Ooh, I'm excited. I've always heard very mixed things about Figma, and that's why um, I like never really jumped into them the way I always thought I would. Because um, I just I always heard kind of mixed things, especially with like their joints. Uh, but they're kind of the only player in town doing a uh, Bloodborne. So, I know maybe at some point Bandai will or somebody, but like, at the moment, that's what it is. Okay, oh, this is cool. Does that come out? I think it does. Ooh, let's take a look at that real quick. So, like, the inside of the box, it's, uh, like the poster, but it's kind of, like, upside down. But, you can take it out, and boom, look at that. You got it for like figure photography with the bloody street and everything. That is awesome. I'm going to leave it in there. Um, now I think I am going to keep this box. This box is going to like multi-purpose, man. Nice. Okay. Is there tape on this? You know there is. Oh no? Okay. Uh, looks like we got Toil Trouble and Triple Bubble. Man. Um, okay. Ooh. There is a bunch of stuff here. Oh my god. It comes with so much. Uh, okay. So there's this thing. Let me move that. Uh, this like plastic bag. It's got instructions on how to like put together the stand, take apart some of the weapons, uh, do the extra hands. Um, yeah. If this video starts to run too long, or if it's like uh, not running too long, I might open this and put the stand together. Um, if not, I'll probably just do it, you know. I might keep it packed if I'm going to keep it in the box, to be honest. Not in the box, like, but keep the box. I can just store it in there, you know. Um, okay. Let's get these out. Hopefully they come out relatively easy. This was like on top of it, covering it, and uh, that was kind of hard to get off. Uh, Part of me. <sighs> I was taking a drink there. My voice, uh, my throat and voice is still a little messed up from when I got sick this past weekend. So apologies if I sound off. Um. Oh, okay. I know what these are. Okay. So here's like some of the weapons and some of the uh, like other little accessories. Uh, he comes with these pegs that can go in his back to hold the weapons like on his back. So that's pretty cool. Um, ooh, okay. So these don't move, do they? Oh my god, they do. Oh, this is awesome. Um, so we have the, um, the cleaver, saw cleaver, beast cleaver, whatever you want to call it. Um, a lot of different names. I used to call it the, um, uh, the straight razor. It looked like a, just like a barber's razor. I think my, somebody I know always used to call it the, the Sweeney Todd. But look at the detail on this, man. Like, you can see where it's wrapped, but they colored it a little different. And then you got, like, the old beat-up chunks out of it. 
These are actually like kind of pointy. It's pretty cool. Like the serrated edges. Um, man, this looks great. Even just like the handle. Look at that. All the way down to like the way the gear looks. This is great. And then, boom. You get it in like default position. That is beautiful. And it feels pretty tight. It's a pretty tight joint. It, it gets a little loose right around here, but it tightens back up and stuff. Fantastic. This is, man, that's great quality. If every, if the rest of the, everything of this can be that same level, then maybe I'm going to be a Figma guy for a little bit. <coughs> uh, looks like this is the little uh, pop-on to uh, for the back end of the Whirly Gig, so we'll say we'll hold on to that. Um, looks like we have his <coughs> his like foot lock. The Hunter's uh, oh, what is it called? Damn it, sorry. But look at it. You can like feel the actual engravings. It's and they put a wash on like it, like a wash on it to give the wood that kind of older, darkened feeling. They put holes in it so you could see like going through. Ah, uh, man, this is glorious. This is great. This is off to a great start. Uh, two more weapons in here. Uh, we have, uh, the, ah, uh, it's the katana switch. Um, oh, damn it. I apologize. I cannot remember the name on it. Not the Uchi katana. That's Dark Souls, right? No. Yeah, that's Dark Souls, ain't it? You know what it is, though. Looks nice. The other part of it is... Not in here, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh well. I guess if I find it, I find it. Not bad though. Kind of just uh, like for everything else being so detailed, the sheath or whatever is over it. It's kind of just there. Um. We have the base. Oh, those all fell out. Um. Peg wouldn't go back in. Um, like the base form of Ludwig's Holy Blade. Always by his side. Not this one, though. Um, but they did give, like, some different coloring to the actual wrap. But it's, it's there. It's, like, black and gray. But it definitely looks like it melds in a little bit too well. Um, either way, though, if he's holding it, it's not going to be too big of a deal. Does the end of this one come off? No? Okay. But anyway. You can feel the engraving going all the way down. Straight. Pretty straight. Nice. Beautiful. I love Ludwig's Holy Blade. That was pretty much my base game weapon. Um, and then... Going into the DLC, well, after playing it a few times, I, I can't, I know Bloodborne's like the second, I think, from software game I have the most hours in. I think Dark Souls 3 is one. Um, so I, I know I went over like the sixth threshold, but I don't know if I ever went past that. I think I got all the way to the end and I stopped on that one because it was like, what else? And every once in a while, I still go back and do random dungeons. So you can still get summoned to do random dungeons. It's amazing. I like helping people, so I always do summons. Um, but, yeah, I love Ludwig's Holy Blade. Going into the DLC, I'm not sure. Um, I mean, Moonlight uh, Sword is always great. I gotta admit, I did use the Whirly Gig Saw a lot. Um... All right. 
we have uh, just the hilt of the Holy Blade. Now this, I believe, plugs into the uh, like end of it to make it the great sword. So we'll take a look at that. And just, man. The engraved, like the kind of way it rises up, that engraved kind of feel. The paint on it. It has like a bit of a gleam to it, which is crazy. I, I wasn't expecting that. I expected the edge to be a little bit more matted. But even like, even though it looks a little bit like it's got a uh, varnish to it, um, it like, there's still like a little bit of a shine on the actual engraved part. Like, this is just very well executed. Amazing. Ah. Uh, yep, there you go. So, you just. Boom. I love it. My main game base weapon. Boom. Hell yeah. Um, all right. <coughs> Next we got, uh, I believe this is the, is it the blunderbuss? Could be wrong on that. This looks great. They even like did the silver tip here on the, uh, stock. Some parts, is, some parts of this look a little too clean, like this back edge, like the butt of the gun. Um, looks really cool though. I like the uh, kind of uh, weathered look to the actual metal parts. But yeah, the shiny part back here on the butt of the gun kind of throws me off a bit. Uh, I also like the, it just, it feels like a piece of wood. Like it's got that texture to it. It's just amazing. This is good stuff. Um, really good stuff. All right. Oh, oh, that's what this is for. This is the axe. Okay. Oh, that's the end of the axe. Wow, I'm stupid. Okay, um, yeah, it wasn't the katana thing. Uh, that makes so much sense now. We have the axe, the hunter's axe. I believe this is the hunter's axe, right? Or is this the DLC one? Hmm. I used the axe a lot early on. I was not a big fan. I never really liked the threaded cane. Um, and saw cleaver was cool, but... I kind of always rocked the axe. It always had like just great range to it. You had that like that uh, heavy swing attack. Ah, uh, that was great. But I like the way they like kind of made it look like rock going into steel. This like gold etching inside of it. You can feel like every little bump and everything. It's just perfect. So that comes off, right? Yeah. And then we... We hit it with the, uh, this one. Hmm. Okay, so this is not really fitting in here well, so I don't want to break it. We're just going to leave the axe. As is. Call it good. Alright, we're almost there. <clears throat> uh, let me see. Okay, yeah, we'll show this part off first. So we have like the base form of the Whirly Gig, which is basically just the shaft of the Whirly Gig, because he connects it and then pling. Um, and just saw away, Meryl. But it, they've actually kind of got the color of the gold down right. Because it's not like a real shiny gold. It's almost like this greenish gold. So they definitely nailed the look. It's got every little scuff on it. And you can feel all those. Ooh, come on now. There we go. This is just amazing. Um, love that. 
<coughs> okay, and now we get uh, so I'm gonna try to figure out what how this piece goes here in a minute. Um, but now we have the actual whirly gig saw. And it does spin. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. Look at that. Damn. Let's see if we can get this figured out. I'm gonna guess you take that. Mm. Eh, oh well. I'll read the instructions on it later. But it looks amazing. I just, it's like, I know that part comes off, but like, it's really on there and I don't want to break it. Um, so I might like get a hair dryer real quick and do that after. Um, beautiful though, man. That is amazing. All right. The main event. <coughs> Oh wow, he's so like small. <laughs> I I would say this like I'll put it this way: if they ever made a um, Bandai Hunter, I bet he'd be smaller than this. And this is kind of a small figure to me, maybe just because I'm so used to like bigger wrestlers and sometimes Marvel Legends and McFarlane's weird seven inch ass. Um, oh man, this is glorious. Hold up here. I got to get this set up. Y'all don't understand how much I'm enjoying this right now. Oh, there we go. I was trying to fix the arm. I apologize. The arm was like positioned in a weird bendy way. So I was kind of like, Ew. all right. This joint, I had to like twist it, hold it, and then twist it back into place. It was like backwards on there. <coughs> and here's our hunter. Man, he looks great. The only thing that's throwing me off a little bit is the color of this, the like gold on him. It looks good, but like at the same time, it looks almost like a little too bright. But other than that, he's great. He's got the gray hair. His cap. They even like added detail to the buttons and every scuff. All the scratches and the tears. His jacket. It's got a green vibe to it. Um, like off camera, I'll be honest with you. It looks almost like a greenish, like dark brown, like a dark brown and a green, like somebody mixed a brown and a forest green. Uh, here it looks more green on camera. <clears throat> Which does throw me a little bit off. I guess I'm just so used to wearing a different, I never really rocked the base hunter sets. Um, I always kind of just, I usually wore the Kanehurst armor. I'm not going to lie, just because I had the stats too. Um, hit him with that big daddy Kanehurst. Uh, you can see like the kind of detail on the buckles. Even the belt buckle. His boots have an engraved feel. And they actually kind of put a wash in there. That's amazing. Okay. So as a Figma, I'm not familiar with all of Figma's articulation. I'm just going to kind of give you a general rundown here. Head's got full range of motion. There's a torso joint here. Uh, ball joints, obviously you could tell I was fiddling with those. Um, the arms do go swivel. So there you go. Uh, I don't. I, so this is where I've heard Figmas have issues is with leg joints. Um, and to be honest, I'm probably not going to pose them a whole, whole lot. I might do a little bit of figure photography 
figure photography with this guy and then uh, kind of just base pose him. I kind of want to like, now that I have that display thing, I kind of want to set that up and like just have him backwards with the weapon there and just kind of mimic the cover art. But he does have like a full joint ball joint in there. I just don't want to mess it up. I will say one thing that is a little disappointing that I'm, I'm a little disappointed with. I'm not going to lie. Um, I feel like you could have done better with the bottom half of his coat. I feel like this bottom half could have at least been like a softer rubber. It does move and it, it, it does like articulate. It actually does have articulation, but it's very hard. And I know that's just so it can go with the legs, but I don't know. I feel like this could have been a softer rubber and you could have still had the same uh, articulation to it. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't know toy structure, um, but I'm just going with that. But it's got way more articulation than I can even describe uh, in other places. The knees, there's a little bit of uh, knee pivot there or uh, swivel. You got full ankle motion, full range of motion. Um, yeah, there's a lot I'm not going over here. Sorry. Um, the hands are just like Bandai hands, I guess. They just have a little peg. Uh, all right, cool. Man, okay, stand. Let's see if we can get him standing up. Uh, boom, stands well. Um, yeah, this is fantastic. This video is already too long. There's details I'm not even touching up on. The uh, torn nature of the coat at the bottom, the wear and tear to it. I don't, I will admit, like, this, this bottom half of the coat is not impressing me much. There's a lot of places where it looks like the paint job might be just a little splotchy. But I do know there's also like that textured effect, so it might be that throwing me off. And there's the peg for uh, so he can store one on his back. Um, good stuff. They even like colored the buckle on the back. Good stuff. Yeah. So yeah, the oh he would have dead. There he goes. Um, I'll pick him up in a minute. Ah. <coughs> oh, that was funny. Um. Figma Bloodborne, Hunter, Old Hunter's Deluxe Edition. I like it. I think this is a great figure. Um, I'm not mad at all. I enjoy this. And I'm going to open up Lady Maria. And Oh, I, I forgot. I have a third one. Um, I have the uh, Demon Souls Knight. Even though I was never the biggest Demon Souls fan, I only played through it like once or twice. But it did, it was like the, like, actually I played Dark Souls 1 first and I went back to Demon Souls. Probably not the best way to do that because Dark Souls 1 even with its flaws, is, like, better than original Demon Souls, because Demon Souls is, like, whatever. Um, but Demon Souls is broken as shit, I'm just gonna say it. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion for some people. Well, it's supposed to, I like the way it's broken. It makes it harder. No, nah, that's just bad game. Um, anyway, I have that knight, because he comes with the Moonlight Greatsword, and he looks cool. He's, like, the base knight that started everything. Um, at least in the modern era of From Software. But I like this figure a lot. If other Figmas are going to be this cool, then I'm totally down. Uh, like I said, those joint issues kind of th have me worried because I'm sure figure to figure it's going to be different. Um, so we'll see. But I have another Figma on pre-order. Actually, I have two Figmas on pre-order. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and rock with them and see what happens. Uh, I pre-ordered the Raging Wolf from Elden Ring. And I um, pre-ordered the Skull Knight from Berserk. I want that so bad. That looks amazing. Uh, if he can be as good as this Hunter, and, like in terms of like just how well he is, um, that's a big one. And I got the one with the horse. I got the Deluxe Edition. So I'm getting the horse too. Um, and then there's some other ones I want. I want to get the uh, Black Swordsman Guts. Specifically, I want the repaint one. I don't know why. That one just looks a little bit better to me. Um, I don't mind the old one though. Like, if I found the old one for cheap, I'd probably buy it. Uh, but I want uh, the Black Swordsman Berserk Figma um, of Guts. And it's just kind of pricey, man. It's hard to find. So if anybody knows of one, let me know. Um, with that being said, my hunter falls off my table as I praise him. Uh, that's it for the video. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I know um, you don't have to if you not want to, but I appreciate anybody who does. I know that this was a longer video, and I apologize for a single figure. But it being my first Figma and really seeing like how it works and learning how to unbox their shit um, is a great video, I think. I like this. Um, I really look forward to unboxing Lady Maria and the Demon Souls 
uh, Elite Knight or whatever the hell he is. I always think of the Elite Armor set from Dark Souls because that's like the thing that it compares to. Um, but yeah, catch you guys in the next video.